Hello, and welcome to another exciting episode, exciting indeed, of Amiga Retro Adventures. And today will be a quick video. Um, this will actually be the re-revisit of this Revision 3 motherboard, the one from the previous video where I tried the InDivision ECS version 2, because remember before on the Revision 3 motherboard, the ECS Denise did not put it on a video. Um, as you can see, it does, like you did before. There's your uh, screen right there. Now, some of my subscribers left comments, which uh, made complete sense. I didn't really test to see if uh, the chip was actually running in ECS mode or not. Well, the, the, the FPGA version, of course, of the ECS from Indivision. So I was in a bit of a hurry, because I had uh, one day before I had to go to work and whatnot, since I work abroad and it completely slipped my mind, so it makes complete sense because what I was told is they actually default to the original chipset, so ECS. So what we're going to do is take this disc. This is a bootable disc that you can get off of Indivision site for the uh, ECS version 2. This will boot right into the config tool. I also put uh, sysinfo on here to do a quick test to see what mode we're actually running in right now. So here we go, I am inserting the disc as I speak. And it is booting. Booting it is. Oh, there we go. Uh, no, S no ASL library, oh heavens, what will we do without that? I'm gonna skip this part for now, because uh, I want to run sysinfo. So I shall click on cancel and then cancel again. And then I will type in sysinfo. S Y S I N F O. And that's pretty much the speed I type at, by the way. But oh well. And I will hit return slash enter. And it is loading. Ah, behold. You have the ECS Agnes, 2 meg, but oh, standard Denise. So we are indeed running in the OCS mode instead of ECS. So will the config tool help us? That is a good question. So the easiest way to do that is I'm going to click quit on here. And since I don't know the exact command for the uh, config tool for the Indivision ECS version 2, I will just simply reboot the computer. And if you remember, it will uh, ask me for things, and this time I'll accept the things instead of canceling the things. Okay, same thing, ASL library, who cares? It seems to work without it. Okay, so this part here, I am assuming I have to click on change. Um, I, I'm not to argue, it's basically the configuration is not saved to the device. Would you like to change the mode to the uh, preset of 800 by 436 NTSC now. Why not? Click on change. And then I will leave it the way it is and I will click on save. Oh, look at this. A remake. Ugh. Yes. Let me try it again. A reboot may be required to enable ECS. Click OK. Click cancel. Okay, let's try it without a reboot. Let's try sysinfo once again. S-Y-S-I-N-F-O. Will we have ECS goodness? We shall find out. Oh, look at that. ECS goodness indeed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually shut the computer off. I'm going to boot it up again and I will be right back. This way we can, you know, that way we can be 100% sure that this isn't lying to us. Okay, so I'm back. Um, it booted off the disk and it came up with a config tool. Uh, it didn't prompt me, of course, this time because hopefully it's ECS mode now. I will click on cancel because I don't really care for the utility at the moment. And I will try sysinfo once again. And let's see. Now remember, this is after a cold restart. I shut it off and turn the computer back on again after about 10 seconds. So let's see if the setting kept. There you go. 
ECS Denise, my friends, ECS indeed. So actually it's a full ECS chipset on this Revision 3 motherboard. I mean, what, what, more, more, yeah. what more can you ask for than that? So the good thing about this is the Revision 3 motherboard, I have two megabytes of chip RAM. I have, so that's basically the ECS Agnes, uh, the two megabyte version, and I have the ECS Denise, as well and no modifying to this board at all no hacking no traces no bodge wires absolutely stock which is great because i can undo all of this and you would never know anything was done to this board so that is it for this video i'm hoping to uh complete the uh the commodore 64 video that i was working on last time i think part yeah part two of it to show the operation of the uh, what's that thing called again the yes the commodore 64 reloaded mark ii because uh, the last video about that of course you saw the um the installation of everything chips and all that and then we're going to the configuration on that on hopefully the next video within a week or so but that is it so as you can see this board has been upgraded and it's one of the oldest you know versions of the amiga 500 and like i said the beauty of all of this is uh you can upgrade this board with these parts and you didn't have to do any hacks whatsoever so that will be it for now, and as always, thank you for watching. Hello, and in traditional fashion, as always in most of my videos, this is not the end, but it will be the end after this section, I promise. Uh, what I want to do is I wanted, I put uh, the 1.2 ROM back and the original Agnes. The only thing that's not stock or came with the computer itself or the, the motherboard is the, uh, of course, Indivision ECS version two. So as you can see by the screen, um, the config program, the Indivision ECS version 2 config program does not work under uh, Kickstart 1.x, probably 2 and higher, is, but uh, that doesn't really matter so much. I don't want to run it. If you do have the, um, whatchamacallit, uh, the rescue disk, it is compatible with 1.2, uh, 1.3 and up. So that way, if you uh, and what the rescue is for is for if you, for some reason flashing any upgrades or to the uh, Indivision ECS version two fails, uh, you can boot off the disk and it will restore everything back to factory defaults. Now, that works fine, but as you can see, the, this program does not work well under 1.2 at least or 1.3. But that's fine. I just want to run sysinfo. I just want to see will the ECS Denise show up under sysinfo using Kickstart 1.2. And there you go. Of course, I put the standard uh, 512K Agnes back in, which uh, which is fine. But as you can see, the ECS Denise is recognized. So it's uh, completely compatible with, you know, whatever, you know, kickstart you have and uh, this Revision 3 motherboard. So that is it. And I am serious this time. Uh, definitely it for the moment. And like always, thank you for watching.